ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Slight Gaming News with me, Chris Slight, here for the Fragmentality, and these are today's top stories. First of all, From Software have announced that Dark Souls 2 is coming your way very soon. They announced with a launch trailer at the annual Spike TV Video Game Awards, or VGAs as the cool kids are calling it, and it looked, well, I mean it was a cinematic, but it looked amazing. More Dark Souls is never a bad thing. You may have noticed it's generally sitting at the bottom of the pile of doom, so love me a bit of Dark Souls. The one thing they have said, or in fact two things they have said, it's got a new producer who worked previously on the last couple of games, Demon Souls and Dark Souls, and also it is gonna be a bit more approachable to uh, other gamers who may not have got into the whole you die all the time mentality of Dark Souls. Opinion seems divided on this. Some people are saying, well, it's a good thing for the franchise. Bring more people in, bring more people in and play one of the best games of the last few years. However, there are others that are saying that this will detract from the amazingness that was Dark Souls. Genuinely, a game you had to think about, plan your strategy, and also reminded you of old school, less forgiving, eight to 16 bit games. But the games just didn't care what you thought. Didn't care if you were even there. The game would just keep going either way. You could die. What, what do I care about you? You're not. I'm not here to make you have a laugh or a good time. I'm here for myself. So get out of my house. What are you even doing here? People would say that would detract from the game, but eh, who knows? I'm hoping they go for more of a Hitman Absolution style, where you have a purist mode, which can be like the original Dark Souls or Demon Souls. There were tweaks between Demon Souls and Dark Souls to make it a little accessible by the time it got to Dark Souls, so yeah, who knows. Next bit of news, Blizzard have confirmed that they have had Diablo 3 running on consoles, however apparently it's very unstable, so I wouldn't hold your breath for them releasing it anytime soon, but why even bring it up if you aren't planning on doing something with it? That's what I say to you, Blizzard. So, Diablo 3 coming to home consoles could be awesome. I would play it on that. Developer Naughty Dog well known for the Uncharted series, or Crash Bandicoot if you're cool, have announced that The Last of Us is going to feature multiplayer. Now a number of people online have been getting a little upset, saying that this is going to detract from the game, that this is just some sort of tacked on thing that's not really going to help anyone or be good in any way. And will anything just drain resources from the single player because developers will be trying to tack on multiplayer. However, Naughty Dog have come out and said that they have a separate team working on multiplayer. It's detracting nothing from the single player campaign, so you don't need to worry. I'm sure you still will. This is the internet. People will get angry and worry and hurl insults at you at the drop of a hat. But that's what the comments below are for, ladies and gentlemen. So, how do you feel about Moe Player? How do you feel about Dark Souls 2 that I was talking about earlier? Just while we're here, leave a comment below. Let me know. See what you think. I like to find out. I respond to them sometimes. So, get on it, ladies and gentlemen. And one final bit of news. Something that excited me greatly. This is another thing that came out of the VGAs, the Video Game Awards on Spike TV. It was a trailer for a game called The Phantom Pain. Now, go over a mullet and a beard by a developer that you've never heard of from Sweden. Hmm. Conspiracy, says I! Most people are thinking this is in fact a trailer for Metal Gear Solid 5. Konami are set to announce something very soon. They've said there's going to be a big announcement, so... Could it be that the Phantom Pain is indeed Metal Gear Solid 5? People online have even lined up all, you know, the little lines that appeared above the name. Could appear here, that would be awesome. The little lines above the Phantom Pain. People have even managed to link that up, so it spells Metal Gear Solid 5. But, nothing confirmed with Konami yet. Uh, personally, if that is Metal Gear Solid 5, what has gone on there? That looks amazing. That trailer was brilliant. That was played nothing like a standard Metal Gear Solid sort of trailer. I was amazed. I'm a big Metal Gear fan, what can I say? Going back to Metal Gear Solid on the PlayStation. I loved it! So Metal Gear Solid 5. Bring it on, ladies and gentlemen. But, yeah, if it's not, Phantom Pain also just happens to carry a bearded mullet man who apparently lost an arm, so... I'll play the Phantom Pain. If it's any good as that trailer. Amazing. Anyway, that about wraps it up for Slight Gaming News. Here with me. Chris Slight. What did you think to all this game and news? That's what I want to know. So please leave your comments down below. Let me know. Did you enjoy all these things I said? Or did you hate them? And that links into two handy little thumbs that appear just below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Please like this video. Also, I'm not the only one here on this Fragmentality. Click the subscribe button and then you can see Corporal Kitty. She's got all sorts of videos. She reviews stuff. She does, well, 
whatever she wants. Just like me and just like Aaron. He's got reviews, he's got all sorts of stuff. Check him out. But you cannot do that unless you click that subscribe button because then it just appears in your main YouTube feed. You have to be a sucker typing in corporate kitty where your videos, YouTube search, please. Just youtube.com. Boom, there's the new video as soon as they come out. So, like, comment, and subscribe. And from me, Chris Slight, here at The Fragmentality, this has been Slight Gaming News, and I will see you again, my friends, very soon. Bye.